Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be trying and reviewing a new product. As you probably know by now, I love Eminence and they used to have the best sunscreens in the whole world, like really nothing compared to it. But sadly, at the end of 2020, they discontinued their sunscreens, their original formula of their sunscreens. They reformulated them and the new sunscreens, they are just... I don't love them. They give off white cast, they are thick and heavy, they don't spread well. So I've been looking for a new sunscreen since then. So I reached out to a local rep in my area and asked them if I could try some sunscreen products that they had. So I've received them now and I'm really excited to try them out. I'm gonna try it today um, when I do my morning skincare routine and show you guys and let you know my initial thoughts and kind of give my review about it. So the brand is called Taizo. So this is what I received. This is the Taizo mineral sunscreen for face and body. It is 20% zinc oxide with antioxidants, vitamin C and E, and it's moisturizing, as well as it's an SPF, a tinted SPF of 40. So that's this guy. And then I got a tinted lip protection. It's an all mineral sunscreen, SPF 40, uh, SPF 45 actually, and water resistant. So that's for the lips. And then I also got one more thing. I got these little Taizo sunscreens. They are also SPF 40. They are PA++++, which is really good. I'll link what the plus 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 means in the description. So just go there to find more info about that. This is titanium and zinc oxide. It's like a primer sunscreen, so that's interesting. So before we do that, let's get into my actual skincare routine. So I'm gonna start with washing my face. Again, I use my Holy Grail Mangosteen Daily Resurfacing Cleanser from Eminence. That's like the big step of my morning skincare routine. These days I keep my morning skincare routine just very simple. Um, now that we are in summer, I really like to just have something lightweight on. Um, so really the next step that I do, I put on the strawberry rhubarb hyaluronic hydrator. This one is so nice to put under your moisturizer, under your sunscreen. It's super lightweight, super hydrating, and it kind of just feels like you're giving your skin a drink of water. So it's just very nice and light. So I'll do about like two pumps and I'll do that for my face and neck. Okay, so now that it's on, usually I'll put on my moisturizer and then I'll put on sunscreen. But today I'm gonna try to just put on the sunscreen because it does say that it is moisturizing. So let's see about that. This is the bottle, it's a nice big bottle. Let's test it out on the hand first. Oh, I think I have to shake it up first. That came out super liquidy. Cause I think it's supposed to have a tint to it and it like came out like super clear. Let's try this again. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. Let's see what the texture is. It feels nice. It has like a really nice dewy glow. Do you see that? That's super nice. I hope this isn't going to be greasy. I mean, it doesn't really feel greasy, but it kind of does a little bit. I don't know, we'll see. The rep said that this is really good for like normal to dry skin types. Maybe if you just use it as a like moisturizing sunscreen itself, it would work for like oily skins as well. I mean, I have like a kind of like between a combination and a normal skin type. So I think this will be good for me, but we'll try. Okay, give yourself a generous amount of sunscreen because you need that coverage. Can't warm it up in your hands. And let's see 
how this applies. This is interesting. It spreads very easily. And yeah, you can definitely see that dewy finish. Oh, I like it. Go over top the eyes. Yeah, and it's like very lightly tinted. The camera is making me look a lot more lighter than I actually am in person, but it's giving like a nice coverage. This is interesting. I don't know how to feel about it. My initial thoughts is probably that I think I would like this for my body. I don't know if I will love this for my face. Because I can't imagine wearing this all day with makeup over top. I think that would feel a little bit too heavy. And it does feel like it leaves a residue. Like it does feel... Maybe I took too much. Maybe, maybe that's why that I need a lot less. It does feel moisturizing so that's super nice but yeah it just it does feel not heavy but just a little I guess a little bit greasy and that I wouldn't want anything heavier than this to be honest I am I am debating washing my face again and trying out a different sunscreen I'll be honest, I did cheat a little and try the primer yesterday and the primer, it felt very like silky. So that was nice and I used this on its own. I just put on the strawberry hydrator and then the tinted primer and yeah, that is SPF 40. So I found that this gave a really nice coverage in terms of a tinted sunscreen. It gave really nice coverage and really I just needed a bit of concealer like under my eyes and I was like good to go. So I did like that about this one, and I feel like it was just a lot lighter than this one is. This one has a lot more moisturizing properties. So, yeah, I don't know. I think probably for, yeah, a, a more drier skin type, this would be good. Or like maybe if I'm not wearing any makeup throughout the day, then I would for sure wear this on my face, but because I'm going to work later and going to be putting makeup on my face and working all day then I I think this will be too heavy so I'm gonna wash my face and I think just do my usual routine okay change of plans I'm actually going to try another product from the same rep that I mentioned before um, I also reached out and asked if I could try some is clinical products and is clinical has a tinted sunscreen that I'm going to try I was going to do it in a different video, but I think I'll do it in this one here and we'll make this like a sunscreen testing video. So this is the Eclipse SPF 50 plus uh, perfect tint and this is beige. Let's try it out. Oof. Okay. I guess that is like one. I don't know what to call it, not serving size. Portion? I don't know. Okay, we'll go with that. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I actually like this a lot. This is super lightweight, very spreadable. Yeah, so that was a good, good size for the face. And then I will do one more for the neck. And it has some tint to it, like a very, very light tint. I don't know how many shades they have, but I just got beige. And I don't find it gives a white cast at all. And it also has a dewy glow. Like, I don't know, do you see this? It has a dewy glow, just like the Taizo does, but so much lighter. <clears throat> and I do feel like I am getting moisture from, from this sunscreen but it does not feel heavy by any means. It feels really pleasant, which I like because I'm very picky with the sunscreen that it needs to be light enough that I don't feel it on my face, but not so light that it feels like it's drying out my face. You know what I mean? Or that it's like stiff. So I really, really like this. I am getting moisture. I'm getting that dewy finish, which 
sheen so nicely through my makeup. I definitely would put makeup over top of this because it feels really just like nice and lightweight. I, I give this one a thumbs up. I really like this. So again, it's the Is Clinical Eclipse SPF 50. Let's also try the Tizel Lip Protection. Oh, it is tinted. Oh, cute. I like it. Wow. Overall, I think this was a really good unboxing and these are my first impressions. I can do a more thorough in-depth review on these products if you are interested. Like I said, there are more product reviews to come, so just hang in for that. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment any questions that you have or anything that you learned today, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.